vacations focused on food, are more popular than ever. We've all begun to understand that a lot of our favorite vacation activities, and the fondest memories we bring home, involve eating. Perhaps you learned how to make pasta in Italy, went on a truly fantastic culinary tour, or dined at a really outstanding restaurant. All of those are now treasured recollections. We are always searching for culinary vacations that promise incredible dining options, fun food-inspired experiences and some really good wine to wash it all down with. And while there are so many great locations around the world that satisfy that craving, some stand out more than others in the culinary department. I have to admit, even picking only 17 destinations that we think are foodie heaven is hard, there are so many. We have the list for you, if you love food and want to visit some truly amazing gourmet locations. One of the finest ways to explore the local culture while on vacation, is to include culinary activities in your schedule. Not in any particular order. The first one is Paris, France. People frequently overlook when they are making travel plans, that despite being in France, Paris is a foodie's paradise. There are so many enjoyable food-related activities in Paris that you may partake in to enrich your sightseeing, create enduring memories, and plan a varied and intriguing agenda. Alongside the Eiffel Tower and Sacré Coeur, croissants and croque-messieurs have a rightful place in the world. Escargot and frog's legs included, no trip to the French capital would be complete without sampling the cuisine that makes the nation so distinctive. There are several ways to taste and appreciate Paris, like stopping by one of the city's many street food markets to look at the offerings, visiting a nearby creperie, or taking a full-day culinary tour. Second destination is, Mendoza, Argentina. Mendoza produces some of the greatest wines, but did you know that it also has a thriving food scene? For foodies who want to experience the best of wine, adventures, and fine cuisine all in one place, Mendoza is the ideal location. Many of the best vineyards in the area provide stunning multi-course wine lunches at their on-site eateries. These lunches feature as much wine as you'd want to drink, and frequently have beautiful views of the Andes from every seat. Third spot is, Tuscany, Italy. Taking culinary courses in Italy is one of the top items on the bucket lists of the majority of foodies. In our dreams, we prepare handmade pasta that is soft and meaty, sip wine in Tuscany, and eat antipasto with salty olives while looking out over the vineyards. There are several culinary classes and wine tasting excursions available all around Italy. Chianti is one of our favorite regions in Tuscany. Not only is it very stunning and simple to navigate, but there are a ton of fantastic Chianti Classico wines to taste as well. Fourth one is, San Sebastian, Spain. It might not be a major cosmopolitan city, like Paris or London. But San Sebastian is perhaps the greatest food destination in the world, with more Michelin stars per capita than any other city and a thriving pincho scene that you won't believe until you see it. With its breathtaking views of the Crescent Harbor, and the lovely La Concha Beach, it is on the list not only for the wealth of gourmet food, but also because it is a veritable paradise. There are three three-star restaurants, a few one- and two-star eateries, and a ton of pincho bars that serve gourmet-style snacks that rival any expensive dinner you've ever eaten. The Rioja wine region of Spain is only around an hour's drive from San Sebastian, and it offers some truly amazing cuisine prepared by Michelin-starred chefs and commanding homestyle eateries. A pincho's crawl through the narrow alleyways of Logroño was one of the most entertaining food-related activities we've ever done. A foodie's fantasy indeed. Fifth place is, Bordeaux, France. You may get the holiday in France, that every foodie has been longing for, when you combine the mouth-watering Bordeaux wines with the breathtaking surroundings. Bordeaux deserves at least a week of your time, if you want to do it correctly. 
only a small portion of the wine and culinary options can be explored in two days on the left bank and two days on the right bank. Spend some time in Bordeaux Center as well, there, we discovered some very amazing dining alternatives, from wine bars to street food markets. A visit to the recently opened Wine Museum is also highly recommended. Wine lovers, foodies, and basically anybody who wants to take in the countryside, while pedaling through some of the most stunning vineyards in the world should take a bike tour through Bordeaux. You may take a tour of a winery on either the left bank, or the right bank. My favorite region is the one surrounding St. Emilion, since it is flat and simple to bike in. Think about pairing black truffles, duck confit, and foie gras with big, complex Bordeaux wines. Every day, you'll enjoy fine wine with your exquisite lunches and dinners. There is no finer place to be than this. Number 6, Tokyo, Japan. I love sushi a lot. Everyone is, right? The world's freshest, finest, and most spectacular sushi can be found in Tokyo. I don't know what more I can say, wait, yes I do, if that's not enough to convince you to visit Japan for your upcoming gastronomic holiday. How about the incredibly entertaining, absolutely hip izakayas that can be found all around the city in nooks and crannies. Although it sounds like dive bar fare, it's really not. In actuality, it's a foodie's dream for the daring. Or the historic Tsukiji Outdoor Market, which you must see when in Tokyo. Along the journey, you'll see and try a ton of foods that you may have never ever heard of before. You may sample the greatest of every cuisine prepared in Japan, including gyoza, okonomiyaki, ramen, and takoyaki. Most chefs are experts in their particular cuisine. Taking part in a traditional tea ceremony is another fantastic thing for foodies to do in Tokyo. In an informal ceremony held in the Hamarikyu Gardens, you may find out what it's all about and pick up some manners. Number 7, Bangkok, Thailand. Thai cuisine is, in my opinion, quite popular worldwide. One of the nicest culinary experiences I've ever had was getting to enjoy real Thai food the way it was designed to be eaten, whether it was at a night market or from a street seller in Thailand. Cooking workshops, cuisine tours, street food for every meal, and even Michelin-starred restaurants are all available in Bangkok. Go outside of town to the neighboring floating markets for an even more singular experience to see something you can only see there. Don't forget to sample the mangosteens. The abundance of cuisine in Bangkok is one of its finest features. The city used to be filled with scattered street food sellers, but nowadays you may find groups of food kiosks all over the place. The Chachu Chok Weekend Market, Wang Lang Market, and Bangkok's Chinatown Market are a few of our favorites. Anywhere you stay, a street food market is probably close by. Keep your eyes peeled as you go around. In Bangkok, street food is unquestionably the best option. It's wonderful and really affordable. Number 8, London, England. London is another significant city that is frequently disregarded as a culinary destination. But avoid making this error. The world's food capital is London. Nowhere else can you discover the wide variety of dining options, dining experiences, and gourmet activities that London offers. People frequently believe that the only delicious cuisine available in London, is fish and chips and pub fare. But nothing could be further from the truth. The city offers every conceivable kind of food. Where else in the world can you find almost dozens of options for afternoon tea? You may tour the various markets in London, including our favorites Camden Market and Borough Market, or you can take a break for some street food in the incredibly hip and entertaining box park in Shoreditch. Because of the overwhelming variety of dining options, we like Soho. There are restaurants, wine bars, pubs, waffle bars, gelaterias, you name it. Number 9, Bologna, Italy. Bologna and the surrounding region, are among the greatest places in the world for a gourmet vacation, despite the fact that there are many of touristic activities to do there. 
There are so many different food-related activities you can partake in in this region. From a comprehensive DOP food tour that takes you to a Parmigiano Reggiano factory, a Parma ham production facility, and a home where traditional balsamic vinegar is made, to a more private cooking class in the city. You could believe that the Emilia-Romagna region, whose capital city is Bologna, is only renowned for its sparkling semi-sweet Lambrusco wine. Although Romagna produces largely Sangiovese red wines in a manner not too dissimilar from Tuscany's neighboring area, Lambrusco is mostly produced in the northern half of the region. A journey to Romagna for wine tasting will open your eyes to a world of wine you are unaware existed. Number 10, Mexico City, Mexico. I was only able to think of eating real authentic Mexican food, as we were getting ready to travel to Mexico City. I would be satisfied to eat tacos, guacamole, enchiladas, burritos, and carnitas all day long. A gourmet vacation to Mexico City ought to be at the top of your list. There are several fantastic dining opportunities, in and around Mexico City. We discovered several pretty fantastic eateries, like Pujol and Maximo Bistro. We spent the entire day exploring Mercado Roma and sampling delicious cuisine while experimenting with a variety of mezcals and tequilas. We also highly recommend taking a food tour, we like this historic center food tour. You may even want to try your hand at making some of these foods, if you've never handmade a tortilla, I think it might be time you try. Number 11, Lima, Peru. It wouldn't occur to you, would it? But with very good cause, Frommers ranked Peru the number one South American destination for food and drink. Peru has a diversified population that includes immigrants from Spain, China, Japan, and other countries, which contributes to the development of a dynamic cuisine scene, with distinctive and unknown regional differences. Ceviche and chicharrones, two of Lima's most well-known dishes, are gaining popularity worldwide and introducing visitors to Peruvian cuisine. For many years, Lima's eateries like Astrid and Gaston have delighted foodies. Number 12, New Orleans, Louisiana. Food in New Orleans goes much beyond what is typically found in America. With Creole and French influences, it has a unique style and culture. If you're a foodie who wants to experiment, it's a fantastic spot to visit. In addition to having many fantastic restaurants and chefs, New Orleans also has a very upscale cocktail culture. Many of the drinks offered in New Orleans have a rich history that you'll want to learn more about and are rooted in the city's diverse past. They also come with a swizzle stick. Number 13, Copenhagen, Denmark. Noma, a highly regarded restaurant that has spent several years at the top of the world's 50 best restaurants list, is a must-do on many foodies' bucket lists. René Redzepi, the owner and chef, is a master at enticing guests with his cutting-edge food at his new restaurant on the outskirts of Christiania. Noma is still extremely costly and tough to get into, though. Even if you are unable to visit Noma, Copenhagen is fortunate to have chefs that left the Noma kitchen to create their own eateries such as 108, Amas, and Sanchez. Our top picks in Copenhagen include the two Michelin star dock, the one Michelin star really, the first all-organic restaurant to join the world's 50 best restaurants list, and based, from the same owners. Head to the fashionable Refen on Copenhagen's industrial reef Shailene, where food trucks and booths provide high-quality international fare, for a more relaxed dining experience. Number 14, Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a fantastic culinary city with a wide variety of excellent food booths, restaurants, and delicacies to explore with many different cultural influences. A culinary tour is one of the finest ways to familiarize yourself with the cuisine and find some of the top spots in Hong Kong to eat and drink. The city is home to a bewildering array of eateries, not to mention dishes that many Western tourists have never even heard of. Allow an authority to lead you through the process. Dim sum is arguably the dish most associated with Hong Kong. 
Even several Michelin starred dim sum restaurants in Hong Kong are very reasonably priced. You must go to one of these top rated restaurants to order a full meal of dim sum. For a Michelin star meal, head to Tim Ho Wan. Another one to try is one dim sum. Roast goose is the dish I will never forget. It's an iconic Hong Kong dish that you absolutely must try. The crunchy skin and layer of rendered fat over tender meat. It's a thing of true joy. Number 15, Istanbul, Turkey. Turkey is one of the top destinations for a fantastic gourmet vacation. One of the most traveled to nations in the world, has a lot to offer tourists. A journey to this country will be quite unforgettable, thanks to the seaside resorts on the Mediterranean Sea, historical sites, friendly people, rich culture, wonderful museums, and delectable Turkish cuisine. You may find delicious meals anywhere you go in Turkey, whether you're visiting Istanbul, Cappadocia, or another well-known city. While the cuisine in each locale varies, keep an eye out for doner kebab, meze, pide, and baklava. Number 16, Naples, Italy. The list of specialty meals you must taste in each Italian area is distinctive, and Naples is no exception. To properly experience Naples and all of its charms, you really need to spend some time eating your way through the city, from the famous Neapolitan pizza to deep-fried macaroni to rum-soaked sponge cakes. Get ready! In this city, there are a lot of delicious food options. There is absolutely no better way to sample the best Italian cuisine in Naples than to join an Eating Europe culinary tour. To find the best pizza, we explored the city for a week. Our favorite pizza in the city was at Pizzeria de Attilio, but there are memorable pizzas at 50 Calo and Antico Borgo Ivergini. These are just a few of the top of their game. Other foods to try include pizza fritta, quapo, and pasta frittatine. Number 17, Catalunya, Spain. If you have ever visited Spain, you are already aware of the vast wealth of the nation's culture, heritage, and particularly the goods and foods that are unique to each micro-region. One of those areas is Catalonia, where you may find an amazing variety of unusual goods, dishes, and meals. Catalonia has an extremely sophisticated culinary tradition. Each of the minor regions of Catalonia has its own distinctive dishes that other regions of Catalonia don't have, in addition to having certain products that you won't find in other parts of Spain. You will undoubtedly become fully absorbed in the vibrant food culture there as a foodie. You couldn't ignore it, not even if you wanted to. T. Hey are so much of what they eat. While there, we came across a wide range of things you should try. You can go to vineyards, there are many different wine regions, including Priorat and Importa, plus they make cava in Catalunya. 